right, guys, first thing we did after the meeting, well, besides going to the farmer's market, was buy some watermelon and pineapple. So that's what I ate for part of our breakfast. All right, I'm back to normal. So I'm having an English muffin with one egg, one slice of bacon, and one slice of Velveeta. That is one, two, five smart points for this. And then I have one point coffee. And I went to Weight Watchers today and they had a, a little um, craft thing going on. So I bought this for my little granddaughter, Thea, which is super cute. It was like $5, I think, five or seven, something like that. And that is breakfast this morning, five, six smart points. And then we had a Dopio Espresso and the bag of chips, which you saw earlier. And so far I'm at... 10 smart points, I believe. I also had two mints for one point. So I think I'm at 11 smart points. I'll put it down below. Okay, so I'm out walking. I'm getting half a mile. I was gonna get a mile, but Corey got home. So I'm gonna turn around, go meet him, and we're gonna go walking somewhere. So I'll let you know how today goes. I've got a half a mile in previously, so this is gonna be one mile. And I was gonna do a full mile, but then now it's changed to a half a mile since Corey got home. Hey guys, we are going out on a section of the Ice Age Trail. It's about three miles long, and I will let you know how that turns out. I've got, I'm eating pineapple, not pineapple, watermelon, and I've got cheese here, one ounce of cheese, and then 15 grams of the Parmesan crisps, which are two points. The cheese is four. The watermelon is zero. Talk to you soon. We're done, and that was seriously the hardest one I've done. Not like challenging hard because my knee didn't even hurt at all, but because I just felt so hungry and just so blah, and I don't know why I felt hungry. I ate before I left. I ate cheese and um, watermelon. I don't know, but I was just pooped out, and I'm so happy that's over. That's a pretty darn big plate of food and both me and my husband have one and it is so good, so delicious that I feel like having this again tomorrow. You can also replace the, the um, rice with riced cauliflower or mix it half and half which will lessen the points but this is only right now we've got seven smart points in this whole dish right here. Guys I'm out walk it another mile and then I got back I was talking on the phone with my niece and it went by so fast so I thought oh it's not quite dark yet so I'm gonna go on another half a mile walk so I will have six miles in today I need to get that hundred miles in May so I'm pushing myself my knee isn't hurting so once it starts to hurt I will definitely stop looks like rain coming but it's so beautiful out here it's warm windy no sun beating down on me. It's awesome. So I'll see you guys later. Good evening, guys. Well, I got six miles in today. So thrilled about that. And I talked to my niece the last mile and a half that I was walking tonight because it was cooler out. And I struggled through that, the 3.6 or three and a half miles that we did through the Ice Age Trail. I struggled. And it wasn't because I was sore or tired it was because i was mentally struggling i just i don't it was the worst segment so far for me mainly because it was mostly on like access roads and stuff and it was kind of boring for one and for another i was really thirsty i didn't take my water with and the sun was beating down on us and we had to cross like three little ponds that overflowed so there was water all over and long too. So we had to bushwhack through the weeds and stuff, through the trees, and my face was getting scraped up, and I was just in a bad mood to begin with. And then I have to deal with that on top of it. I could have sworn we were going to have to gonna have to get our feet wet, but we didn't. We didn't. We found a way around it. We made it. In the last half a mile, I'm like kept asking Corey, I'm like, how long now? Where are we? How long till we get done? I felt like a child. I was acting like one too. He's like, man, if you're going to keep acting like this, how are we ever going to finish this? Because we need to work through the summer. And like, I know I don't think my body works past 70 degrees. I don't. 
It is so hot when you're walking. It was 75 and the sun's just beating down on you. I was wringing wet and he's just like walking around, you know, rot walking along like nothing's wrong. I'm like, aren't you hot? <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know what the deal was with me. I think I needed to refuel with water. I didn't usually, when I do a three mile trail, I have to stop and go to the bathroom. I didn't even have to go until we got all the way home. And it was a 45 minute mile, 45 minutes to get home on top of that. So, and I drank a lot of water in between going from Antigo to home. So it's a 45 minute drive. I was just packing down the water. Once I ate those little big, tiny bag of pretzels and had my water, I was totally fine. I was like feeling dizzy and everything, so I don't know. I And I ate cheese beforehand. What a thing to eat after getting done with a cheese and egg fast, right? Cheese. That's what I was craving. So that's pretty much was our lunch because we didn't have a normal lunch. It, it turned out okay. I'm glad we did it. I'm, I was so thrilled to be back on my road right out here, though, and the sun wasn't out, and it cooled off like 20 degrees just like that, super fast. So I walked out there in my short sleeves, and I was... It was perfect. The wind was blowing. It was perfect. It felt so good. I could have kept on walking if it hadn't gotten dark. That's how much I was enjoying my walk. I, I walked a mile. That's what I planned to do so I could get five and a half miles. But then, but then I'm like, man, I'm talking to my niece and it went by really super fast. And I have these headphones in and I told my niece to try them out because I haven't tried talking with these on the phone yet. And she could hear me great and everything. So I love these. These are from Java Sport. They're expensive, but they're worth it. And I was once, you know, once she had to, she had to go to bed because she has to go to work at five in the morning. So then I just started listening to my music the last like quarter mile, I think. I talked to her for uh, three quarters of a mile. No, I talked to her for a mile and a quarter. So yeah, and it went by so fast. It felt like only three quarters of a mile. It went by really fast. So hopefully I can do that tomorrow night too and just call somebody on the phone and talk to them for a while. I feel really good about today. I'm excited because I'm getting in those miles and I am going to try my hardest to reach that 100 mile goal in May. I'm going to try my hardest because I told my Weight Watchers meeting that is my goal. So I'm going to really work at it. And I'm not talking about steps on my Fitbit because right now I'm at 20,000 steps and it says I've got it says I've got eight miles. I'm not talking about the miles on my Fitbit. I'm talking about actual walking miles that I put in outside, literally walking. I'm not talking about the steps I get in the, in the house and all of that extra stuff. So I've got eight miles on my Fitbit today and I put in six of those outside. So I put in two miles in the house somehow, some way. I don't know how because I really didn't do much in the house today. I did go up and down the stairs a lot, letting the dogs in and out and all that garbage, but, and doing a little bit of stuff out in the garden too. And I've got, I burned 3,200 calories again, and I got 24 flights of stairs, 167 minutes of walking. I think I can get a loss next week, guys, and I am going to fight, fight, fight to get it, because I know after that egg fast, without a doubt, that there's a huge chance I'm going to gain some of that back. And I don't want it. I don't want it back. I'm going to work my hardest. I'm going to kick butt. And I'm not going to starve myself doing it. So I got my vegetables in today. That really felt good. I had some carrots that I was munching on as well. And I feel terrific right now about all of the fruits and vegetables that I got in. I probably got in a little too many fruit because I was so anxious to get my fruit back in my life. Yeah, so we did the one of the segments on the Ice Age Trail. I got in another mile and a half outside here. Plus, I did a mile before that, before we even left, in the hot sun on the road, which was not fun. Not fun at all. But I did it because I knew I needed some extra miles to get to reach that hundred. Because if there's some days I'm not going to be able to walk, I need to, some. I need to build up some miles to be able to fall back on that. So have something to fall back on. Okay, I think my points are, let me figure out my points and I'll be right back. All right guys, my points were exactly 23, exactly. I thought for sure I was over by five, but then I thought that was, I had, I thought I hadn't added my premier protein and my, uh, these crisps on there, but I did, I did add them. And I even added my little tiny bag of pretzels that I had in the car on the way home. 23 points. I'm right on the dot. 
That is so fantastic. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to finish this off, and I'm going to go up and get this edited so I can get it out there. And yeah, perfect day for me. Perfect. With walking, with getting only the 23 points in, my scale is looking awesome. I got 32 ounces of water in. I'm going to work on another 32, so that'll be 64. I'm not going to be able to get more than that in, but at least I got that in. And I got diet, I did have a Diet Coke today, and I did have coffee two cups of coffee today. Oh, my coffee. That's where I forgot to add my second cup of coffee. So I'll be one over. I'll have 24 points. That's not bad. That's awesome. Because my coffees are now one point and I haven't switched from that and I'm really loving them. So that, I mean, I have to be loving them because I've always switched back by this time and added the foam on top and stuff. So I have to really love these and I do. I really love them. So I will see you guys all tomorrow for another water eight and hopefully I can get some big miles in tomorrow and hopefully it's not too hot. But I am feeling happy. You guys can probably tell that I'm feeling super excited about this week. I am getting it done. I am getting it done. So we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share if you think it may help anybody. And click the link down below for my Facebook group. Come and join us. And I do have a detailed pictures, photos, whatever on there of my egg fast that I had just previously done. And come on over and check it out if you're interested. So we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.